Uh, my route into politics is, a, I suppose, a bit unusual these days. I left school at 15 with no qualifications. Uh, I became, uh, after several uh, attempts at becoming a rock and roll star, which failed dismally, but there's still time. If you look at <laughs> Mick Jagger's age, I mean, <laughs> we're, going to see <laughs> uh, we're all going to see geriatric rock stars these days. Yeah. Uh, I became a postman. Uh, I became a representative of the of what is now the Communication Workers Union. Uh, I eventually became General Secretary of the Communication Workers Union, and in 1997, I came into Parliament as an MP in Hull, uh, where I'm very pleased that Catch 21 started its life. Um, I suppose, really, the reason why I came into politics is more the reason why I joined the Labour Party. Uh, I'm tempted to say to fight conservatism. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I joined the Labour Party really because the party is about two things, the eradication of poverty and greater equality. Everything else is means towards that end. That's why I joined the party and in that sense that's why I'm in Parliament. But just as Charles came in in interesting times back in 83, of course coming in in 97 with a tidal wave of uh, new members of Parliament because of the uh, victory uh, of the Labour government. The thing about that, incidentally, is when Anne talks about uh, you know, socialism compared to new Labour. Of course, the thing about old Labour is we had a tradition, we lost elections. Uh, Labour governments were small interludes in Conservative rule. In fact, in the 20th century, the Conservative Party ruled in this country for longer than the Communist Party ruled in Russia, and they didn't have elections. Uh, so, so, so we broke with that tradition in 97. We started to win elections, uh, and we won elections, I'm pleased to say, ever since. But I do agree with Anne and Charles, the satisfaction of being a member of Parliament. You don't have much power as a member of Parliament, you have a lot of influence. And it's the way you can use that influence to change people's lives, which is why the cons I'm a, actually a supporter of proportional representation, Charles and I. Uh, uh, <laughs> but but it's, a form, it's a form of proportional representation that maintains that constituency link because constituency link is very important and I find now you know whatever ministerial role I'm doing the important thing that grounds you and keeps you uh, and I think gives you more satisfaction in politics is what you can do for individuals and sometimes groups within your constituency so that link is very important and you know the encouragement to go into parliament I think for a new generation and I also agree with Anne about the bad press that politicians get People come into part. I mean, that's, you know, it's no great shakes to be, leave a general secretary's job to take a pay cut to come in and be an MP. But lots of people could be earning much more money elsewhere. They choose to be in politics because they are motivated by genuinely trying to change society for the better, and more importantly, trying to help people's lives individually. Because that's a great unpublicised thing of what we do, and it's also the reason why, incidentally, you'll find lots of opinion polls where people say. You know, they think politicians are a crowd of sleazebags. But when you ask them about their own MP, he's generally, he's yeah. they're very, very yeah. positive about their local member of parliament. So I think there's a big message there as to how we conduct politics and as to how perhaps the media portrays it. Okay, so there we have it. Three very distinct uh, ways into parliament politics. But I think one uh, motivating factor which is to make a difference. Um,